Okay, uh, this is AM Sweetie, RMY, and I'm just coming back to you. I am so sorry I look like a mess. I just got over being very, very sick. Plus, if you live in Tennessee, you know that we just got a bunch of snow. So, I've been sick and it's been freezing cold outside. So, anyway, um, originally I was going to come with you, um, or come to you with what I'm going to put in my hospital bag, but I thought that it might be a good idea to get some of your opinions. People have already been through the surgery. Um, if you could put down in the comment box the one thing you're glad you brought with you um, to the hospital, that would be great. And then after I get all of your point of views, I'll take what the surgeon gave me and just personal items I want to bring for myself. I'm going to make another video for everybody so that people who are getting ready to have the surgery will have um, uh, that to look at. So anyway, since I'm not going to do that today, I wanted to go over some TRICARE insurance stuff because I realized after watching so many videos that there's not a lot of TRICARE information out there as far as the videos go. So. I have um, TRICARE Prime, but I um, see a civilian doctor, but I live so close to post, I can go to a civilian doctor. Now, my bariatric surgeon is going to actually be on post at Fort Campbell um, at the Blanchfield Hospital. Um, but, um, originally, my doctor um, suggested to me about the weight loss surgery. Now, here's the thing you're going to want to know if you're TRICARE. You have to be your own advocate. Even though it was my doctor's idea, and he took all my information and did the whole, you know, what my health problems were, all the diets I've been on, all that, the actual doctor's office itself doesn't really deal or hasn't dealt with having to give all that information to TRICARE because TRICARE wants all the information. So I had to stay on it. I went on the Humana website, Humana Military website because we're TRICARE East obviously. And um, it, as soon as I didn't say it was approved, I had to keep calling them and I'd call TRICARE and find out what information they were missing and I'd call the clinic and I just had to stay on it. So if you want this surgery, you are going to have to advocate for yourself because nobody else will, I promise. Um, then, you obviously have to have a BMI over 40 unless you have severe um, uh, health issues. Then I believe it's 35 BMI. Uh, you also have to, um, you go on post because post has the right to turn you down first. So, you will have to see an on-post um, general surgeon. You have to go to a consultation. You will have to go, after you do the consultation, they will set you up with a nutritionist. They will set you up with your, um, uh, your support group and your psychologist. Now, you will have to do all three of those things before you can have your consultation with the surgeon himself. Once you go and you do all those things, you'll have a consultation with the surgeon and he'll list all the tests he needs from you. Oh, also you have to do lab work before you see him. You have to fast for um, from midnight to whenever you see it or whenever you get your lab work done, you have to fast. So, um, after you get all of that done and you get all your tests done, you have to, or you go back and see the doctor, you turn in all your paperwork that you've gotten completed, and then you, um, well, either, if you're approved, they'll go ahead and give your surgery date two weeks out from your actual date. Every soldier, like, even if you're not a soldier, even if you're a soldier's wife, which obviously you probably are, or a husband of a, or your wife is in the military, they, your uh, spouse, will get two weeks off to help take care of you. They told me that was, like, automatic. 
they'll give you a notice or a slip for your husband or wife to be off for two weeks to take care of you. Now, you want to make sure everything's done, everything's in order, because they will not keep up with it, and they will tell you that. That, you know, if you don't stay on it, they it will just start canceling itself out. That actually happened to me. I had an appointment with a nutritionist, or, I'm sorry, they put in a sheet for me to see the nutritionist. The nutritionist had the wrong phone number and canceled my nutritionist because... They couldn't get a hold of me, so I had to call them, call the hug surgeon and get it all redone. So you really want to stay on top of it, and you want to just keep doing it. But from what I understand and what I've seen so far, as long as you do everything that's required of you, you will get approved, as long as your BMI is over 40, um, which I'm really thankful for. And so far, Prime has been really great, which I also probably, it probably depends on what um post you're at i'm sure but um that's about it really um but if you do have any other questions about it just comment below and i'll get back a hold of you i still have all my paperwork and of course i still have i go to the support groups and i see the um the the oh goodness the rn that's over the program I see her pretty often. So if you have a question and you need it answered, just ask, and I have no problems trying to help you uh, get whatever information you may or may not need. Um, oh, you also will have to lose 10% of your body weight, which is not a lot. Um, and they usually, and they'll give you a diet to do, so <laughs> it's pretty simple. I mean, low carb, you know basic diet you know but anyway um thanks for tuning in i just wanted to come in with this quick video and give you some information i hope you like this video and please subscribe and sorry that's my child anyway and i hope you have a wonderful day and i love you all bye